In order to monitor and evaluate the stability of a process that uses a single measurement or observation per time period, we'll be using the XMR or X and Moving Range chart. Our data has a single numeric column that represents the number of emergency patients over time. Open an XMR chart by going to the Measure menu or Control menu and looking under the Control Charts sub-menu. The first drop zone is for your numeric data. Drag the data variable onto the yellow drop zone. At this time, you have the option to drag on a time order variable or a stage variable. In this data set, we will not use these drop zones, so click Continue. Next, select any of the options for the chart run tests that you would like to use. We will leave just the first test option turned on in this case. Click Continue. The next screen is another list of options for the XMR chart. We will not be using them for this example, so we will press Continue. Look at the table of results of the XMR chart, which shows the upper and lower control limits, along with the average, and the graph on the right. The graph is a trend chart with the relevant control limits in place, as well as flags of any out-of-control points. In this case, the last point falls outside of the control limits and so it's flagged. To divide your graph into different stages, such as before and after, use the stage variable drop zone. Your data should be formatted with a single column for the observations and another column which labels which stage each observation belongs to. This column can be a numeric, text, or date time variable and can contain any number of unique values as long as they have at least two observations each. The recommended and common number is between two and four unique stages. Drag your observation data onto the yellow drop zone. Then drag on your stage data to the pink drop zone. After running the study, the chart will be divided into different stages. To change the labels on the time order axis, use the light blue time order variable drop zone. Your data should be formatted with a single column for your observations and another column which indicates the x-axis label for that point. Note that this column must be in the order you would like it to appear, as Engine Room will not sort them in order for you. Drag your observation data onto the yellow drop zone. Then drag on your time order data to the light blue drop zone. After running the study, notice the x-axis is now labeled with the data you provided. Values may be skipped based on the size of your screen. This concludes our tutorial. You can check out more tutorials at www.moresteam.com help slash engine room.